Welcome back to the Quantum Truth, Sherry and Shara Unleashed. I, I went a little bit deeper on that tone this time. Uh, so today, we are talking about past lives. Do they exist? No. Okay. <laughs> well, end of podcast. 20 seconds and we're done. Uh, go Go, so so um, I want to go into this uh, a lot. So a lot of times it, there's there's people believe that when they die, they just keep cycling their life. They do. They so, do. But so, so, so is that a past life? Okay. So really what it is, it's a collection of cellular memory of experiences that they had and are continuing okay. to have in their body. That's why I call it a time continuum accessibility. Hmm. Got it? Instead of a past life. Because when you get the idea that it's in the past, it's really happening right now. And oh, it, got it? That's it, different. So it's not a past life. It is a life you've lived? Is yes, that correct? Yes. So but, it's a life you lived, but it's not a past life. Okay, so let's look at the idea when you were seven years old. Isn't that a past life? Yeah. But, it, but it's a past life. But in your experience, you remember things you did at seven years old or 12 or 50. Yeah, in this time right now, I do remember things that I did when I was seven years old. Okay, to make it fun, do you remember the first time you had sex? You don't have to tell us. Oh, don't tell I mean, yeah, blue, 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 this, blue, right? blue, so, <laughs> so see, you have cellular memory. Was it in the past life? Yes, you might have been 12 or 14 yes. or 16 or 18 or whatever it is. So you see how they were too young. Yeah, see, whatever. There's <laughs> no kidding. such thing. Yeah. So it happens when it <laughs> happens. But it's also a resonance. Right, yes. Okay, so this is no joke. So I go to China. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm with my friends, and we're with a group, and I have, you know, like my friends that are have blonde hair, yeah. red, whatever, and we are in a park, and these Chinese people, you know, that were tourists at the time, they came up, and they started talking to me. Yeah. And they said, are you from China, or do you have any roots? I said, actually, my first lifetime uh, on this planet was in China. Mm -hmm. and, and and so they said they know it. So we started talking because I carry the resonance. Yeah. Now, this is even funnier. So when I was three years old in a Catholic, well, uh, I'm not going to blow it yet. So I'm three <laughs> years old. So I tell my mother, I used to be Jewish and lived in New York. Mm -hmm. And she said, we're Catholic. We live in Detroit. <laughs> and so it makes sense. So on uh, Christmas or Hanukkah, I can have Chinese food. Huh? On cellular memory. <laughs> you, see how, You're to. you see how that works? So the first time I went to New York for business, I knew exactly where I was going. Mm. Matter of fact, I was so, I, I know, huh. because that was the memory, even though it was another timeline, it still was that memory that was there, even though it was different. And the first, and I, it was in the, in the par apparel business. And so usually you think about the apparel business, most of the, a lot of people are Jewish. And so this one guy that was the head of this company, we were laughing about it. And he goes, look, you're just a Gentile trying to make Jewish. I go, I know. <laughs> I tried to tell my mother that. <laughs> and so we just laughed about it. And so it's the experience that you can be joy-filled. Did we have some, you know, where we might have been killed or it was collateral damage? Yeah. Here's an example. I work with this young man. He's probably in his 40s right now, but this is way back when. And so he was really connected to Vietnam. So when he was a little guy and, you know, a young guy and whatever, he was always liking to hang around with guys from Vietnam, huh. older guys. Yeah. And so he came and we did a, uh, not a regression, but a continuum and found out that he was killed in Vietnam, and he and he did a short term and came right back. Wow. But he was killed, and I think, uh, I can't remember, it was one of the big battles there, and, you know, that was famous. And so he remembered it, and because he was there, so when he would hang around with the resonance of these older men that were from Vietnam, he resonated to them. Huh. Isn't that amazing? So it's crazy because uh, I, I went on, the, you know, the guided meditation, right? And I did see one of my past lives. It was crazy. I, I was somehow holding some beads, and I was, like, monkish, and I could see me giving out some bread and stuff like yes. that. And it was really crazy. And then this other one, I was, like, a soldier defending the monks for whatever reason, and I had the, my hand on my hilt, and it was weird. It was pulling back, and then I could see the whole scene like a movie. Yes. So crazy. It was like the camera was on the altar. They came back, and then I saw myself guarding, and I knew something bad was about to happen. So 
what are those? Those aren't regressions. Those are continuum. It's a continuum, and you're just remembering your experience. Like, huh. it, 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 like I can go back to my life, say, at eight years old, and remembering saying the teacher, you know, right. whatever, yeah, yeah. or being fourteen. And um, I, I remember one time we went to this place in Michigan in Dearborn called. Um, Greenfield Village, huh. and I loved it because it's it's like a museum, and you know, but it's a village, and they have you know Lincoln's log cabin and all this crap there. It was wonderful. It was one of my very favorite because when I would be there, I would sometimes have experiences, mm. you know, and I'd say, "Is this me?" And this is when I was little. So, is this me, or is it you know I'm picking mm. up somebody else? And but it w it was a wonderful experience. The same way when I went to Egypt. Yeah. Yeah, Cairo was great and all that stuff. When we went to Abydos, I was there because Abydos is Sumer Sumerian and, I, and Anshara is a Sumerian name. Yeah, see, so yeah, something calls me back to Egypt. I don't know what it is, but I've always felt a resonance with Egypt. Yeah, and I and I only did that at Abydos, really, yeah. and that's where they found the Flower of Life, and it was yeah. a, and so be, because that was done by the Numerians or the yeah. Anunnaki. Yeah, yeah. Anunnaki. And so be, having come from them at that one time, but you have had many experiences, whether it was in the Pleiades or Arcturus or so, wh wherever it is you have that and so i don't like the idea that you have to regress i like the idea of connecting to the origin of it in this moment so you can keep what serves you expand upon it and dump the rest so how do you tap into the continuum how, how does some a normal person go beyond their normal memories into the memories of the continuum call me for a session <laughs> <laughs> Because that's what I do. Okay. But I teach people how to do it for themselves. I, I think I went a little bit too far back because I was in a different planet. Well, so, of course. Well, me too. I, I was remember. like, wait a second. Like, it's like gravity doesn't exist here. Why is everything blue? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, it's just like when I was on an tourist. God, those guys like to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm not kidding you. There's uh, no doubt about it. That's funny. And so the interesting part about it is I've had – uh, people come to me where they actually morphed. Well, I'm not making this up. They morphed, and you could see their other face from that other timeline huh. because it's cellular memory. Yeah. And it was so amazing. I'm going, gosh, you are so interesting looking, and I do like that shade of blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the body, if I'm telling you, your body is so brilliant. Really, it is. And everyone is special, but you carry all that knowledge. So can you imagine if children or adults or parents or whatever you want to call them would remember these experiences and utilize these experiences instead of what religion or belief systems? Ooh, it's, right. you know, I talked to a person the other day. And, and, I, and I, I gave her a book as a compliment. And she said, I can't read your book. And I said, why? She said, my guides won't let me do this. I said, your gut metaphysical, your guides tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. I tell them to kiss off you, because you're giving your power away to another dimension. It, it's so funny that you mentioned that because I've had five total guides come to me and literally, it, it, you're the only one I actually came to, right? Yes. They all came to me saying, I'm a guide. This is how it is. This is what you need to do. And I, and I, I you know, there's great little tidbits from each one of them, but I never fall victim Ex to their program exactly because right? it's always and sometimes i have this weird ability i can see through their skin i don't know how how i do it but it, it's, it's your natural it, innate it's ability. ability it's yeah. your ability so yeah. I, I, when i'm talking to somebody i'm like am i talking to somebody or am i talking to something else so that's where where i get my my power from but it's just crazy to see how that works and how it's all tied together, right? Exactly. So if I'm not going to let somebody tell me here what to do when right. it doesn't feel correct, you think I'm going to do it from some other dimension? Right. And I feel like those are the – as you get closer to residence, it seems like those those dark or – what I mean, we're not dark or light or whatever. The power – you know, reptilians, all these all – these Ickies. Ickies. Let's just, well, I don't know why I was trying, I call I'm trying to do ickies. duality statements like that good. But the ickies of the world, they, they they seem to, as you grow up in consciousness, they try to bring you down even more. It's the more you get up there, the more they attack. 
That's correct. And you know why? That's why when anybody comes to me, they have to fill out an application. Oh, <laughs> and they do. That's so funny. <laughs> that that's funny? true. That you fill out an application, you speak in my language, and what are you up to? If it's any bullshit, get out. Uh -huh. Because I am sovereign. That's the key, folks. Sovereign. You are sovereign. All right. That's all the time we have today. This has been The Quantum Truth. Sherry and Shara Unleashed. You can find more information at www.sherryandshara.com. Thank you for joining us.